Anyway, let's move on. Yeah, let's uh, move on to the another big event. Yeah, the this week. 108th running of the Indy 500. Um, also, speaking of Honda, like we mentioned before, they had a terrible Indy 500. Um, yeah. The amount of crashes they had mm. was unreal. Um, but how good for Penske? Now they won it again. Joseph Newgarden back to back, which is very that, rare. It's one of the time, hardest races to win ever, and he's won it back to back. First time in 22 years. There you that's go. Happened as well. So, wow. Um, there you go. We're making history here in the world of motorsport this well, weekend. It also it took him 12 years to win one. Yeah, and he's gone back to back. It took him 12 months to do it again. As, yeah, as the, as they kept saying. But uh, how exciting that was! Um, after a delay due to the weather. Um, oh, that's why it wasn't on at two in the morning. Correct. Yeah. Yeah, uh, there was I was so confused when I woke up saying, oh, we just started. I'm like, what? Okay, yeah, that like, makes sense. Why? That, uh, Australian. Yeah, literally. <laughs> so, yeah, well. That's it. Um, so, yeah, but hey, they got the race underway. Thank God for that. Because mm. um, what a show that was. Um, yeah, and, and well, the started race... lap one. Yeah. Contact with uh, exactly. Marcus Erickson out of the race, lap oh. one, five minutes in. How, how... Well, not lap one, but yeah, what lap was he on? It was lap, lap one of, yeah, it was lap, yeah, lap one. one. Yeah, yeah, there you go. Um, yeah. He's had a horrible, horrible um, year. Indy 500 in general. Well, last year was in contention for the championship. And now this year is nowhere. Yeah, I find it really fascinating when a driver is able to put together a very strong campaign. But it just goes to show just the mentally how much it takes it out of you. And also it makes you appreciate uh, drivers and motorcycle riders that are able to do a back-to-back mm-hmm. season after season. Because, I mean, you know, we heard uh, time and time again from Nico Rosberg Mm-hmm. Just how mentally drained he was. He was finished at the end of that championship. And then as soon as he won one, yep, that's it. Yeah. I'm out. I'm Calling out. a day. I don't want to. <laughs> I, I don't want to go again against this guy next no. year and no. do it all over again. No, I respect that. But um, yeah, I just want to quickly touch on Marcus Ericsson because it's nice to see former F1 drivers who didn't have the not a capability but the equipment to be competitive. Yeah. Yes, leave and find something better. Well, not better, but you know what I mean. They're competitive. Being more competitive and having yeah. more fun. That's yeah. all I'm really saying. Absolutely, absolutely. I think in motorsports, it's uh, really, really fascinating because even even between teammates, you know, sometimes we see the same car has the same stickers, the same mm-hmm. livery, but it's not. Nope. There's a factory driver and there's the second rider, a driver, and often that driver is paying for everybody to be there. Yeah, yeah. And it's um, yeah, really cool when you see categories that are you know give people the opportunity to shine. And yeah. Definitely, this is one of them. Well, actually, what I found fascinating, besides Ericsson and Grosjean, who were former F1 drivers now in IndyCar, there's a few up-and-coming drivers who were meant to be in F1 who just have not given up. But There's just no seats in Formula 1. There's just no room, but also I think that they've enjoyed this so much. So there's a few names, like Pietro Fittipaldi was with Haas. Yes. Right? Then you had Marcus Armstrong in F2, I uh, believe... No, hang on, not there. You got... In, oh. Andretti's up there as well. Um, who was the other one I was going to mention? Uh, I think Lungard was there as well. Callum Eilat was in F2 a couple yes. of years ago. Um, I think that's it. But those drivers there, like, kind of giving up on the F1 dream and just racing in the Indy 500, as you do. Well, I think, look, and, and it might be, you know, a topic that, that we touch on maybe a little bit later on after we've done with all the news. But I, I think it's really, really fascinating when you say, you know, the F1 dream. I mean, you know, you, it starts from karting mm-hmm. that, you know, that the carrot is dangled, you know, you do well here mm-hmm. and then you got an open wheel and then you can yep. go, then you can go F1. But there's only ever 20 seats no. in yeah. F1 at any, at any point in time. And then when you have people like Alonso, credit to Alonso is still fast, but. Ocon. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> well, you know, um, Lance, you know, like. Yeah. There's people that three just, or four F1 drivers that. Probably won't be there. Yeah, yeah correct, correct, and and so yeah, different topic for for another time, but definitely you know the the motorsport dream of you know becoming an F one driver is very tough. Alrighty, now we'll just go to the results of the Indy five hundred. Obviously, we said um, Joseph Newgarden has won back to back. Um, I want to quickly talk about Pato Award, who finished second, driver out of Mexico. Oh boy, he heartbreak. Did. He. <sighs> Should have won. I was hoping he would win. Just for something different. Well, and he's come second a few times. That wasn't the first time either. But, but like to me, like, you know, if you look at the penultimate lap, like, you know, he like lifts off, you know, he doesn't want to take the lead. But why would you take the lead just as the final lap is about to start? Yeah. Wait, wait till halfway through the lap and then go for it. 
It's uh, crazy it's, to uh, he put it's, himself in a bad spot. No, it's crazy timing. to think we're talking about F1 Monaco before you, where you want to be in the lead, and then the complete opposite, <laughs> the Indy 500, yeah. where you shouldn't be in the lead at the end of the uh, at the start of the last lap. It's just torture because you've got someone behind you, the slipstream doing 350 kilometers. It's you're done. You got nothing to defend. But surely, you know, as a team, you discuss different strategies. And you know, if you are second going into the final lap, and you are in the slipstream, and you do have the pace, I mean, great move around the outside. Oh, that know. was dangerous too. That was <laughs> phenomenal. There's not much grip out there. No, no, no. no, no. As we, will, we as saw. will power, yeah. will power proved. Exactly. Yeah, exactly, exactly. So look, overall, it's um, yeah, it's phenomenal. Uh, it was a fantastic race. It's yeah. I just I feel for him, you know. Like I think he'll look back and he wish he would have waited a half a lap. Yeah, hundred percent. Shout out to Scott Dixon. He came third. He started twenty second or something, way down the order. Like I said last week, Daniel qualifying in Indy five hundred yeah. doesn't really mean that much because New Garden last year won from like the back row. Right. From the back. Yeah. yeah. So yeah, hundred percent. Um. Also, Alex Rossi, uh, moving to McLaren this year and he's uh kind of revived his career. He, he was, was in contention too. Yeah, hundred yeah. percent. Both yeah. him and uh, Ward, his teammates, um, Alex Pelot in fifth. He's always in contention. And then pole position, man. My boy Scott McLaughlin, unfortunately, had a clutch issue, which meant every pit stop he was losing so much time to yes. get away from but the box. His restarts were insane. He was he was the fastest guy yeah. on the track. Yeah, <laughs> obviously in the pit lane was not. Um, uh, we had Carl Kirkwood finish seventh, uh, Antonio Ferrucci eighth, uh, Renus VK ninth, and Connor Daly. Tense, who's I reckon the coolest driver on Indy car field. He is hilarious. He's yeah, a funny guy. He's fantastic. And just a massive shout out to Carl Larson. Oh, um, unfortunately, finish? well, he unfortunately actually got to drive through for um, speeding oh. in the pit lane. 18th, but he um, he showed a lot of promise. Yeah, he had a drive through on the track and then a fly through after the race. <laughs> Flew <laughs> helicopter to the NASCAR track at uh, Charlotte Motor Speedway and unfortunately didn't get in the car. But we'll talk about that later. 